Hello friends. Today we're going to take a short break from mythology and instead talk about uh, what's changed <laughs> in the room behind me. And I'll do a little getting to know you things because changes are coming to the channel. I am, as I'm sure you've noticed, those of you who have been around for a while, YouTube is all about change and upgrading and upgrading might not be the right word, adapting, trying new things experimenting. So I experimented with having a less busy background and was told by several people they actually preferred having the bookshelves like I did in my previous house. So bookshelves are back and now they are full of the stuff I use on a regular basis as a folk healer. So behind me you will see my various tarot cards. Um, on this side we have the oracle decks. We have my mythology books on this side. Out of frame underneath are all my dictionaries. Uh, various metaphysical books about a huge variety of topics. Uh, down underneath I have uh, books of scripture. So that would be, at the moment, mostly Christian in that group. Although I also have some of the original mythological texts like the Mabonagon and the Prose Edda down there as well. Again, slightly out of frame, just because to get everything in frame is, it, it's a learning experience. We're still testing things out. Um, over here we have uh, my death-related stuff. So we have Hades and Persephone's, we have a dark salt lamp, uh, my fox skull, the round cylinder up there is actually a, a fossil that has been carved into a little box. We also have a statuary of Hecate and Anubis up there. We have a beautiful terrarium that I purchased recently that has some preserved flowers and a replica crow skull in it along with a, a bottle of liquid death because I think it's funny um, and the wine bottle up there is labeled uh, with a depiction of the card of judgment from tarot. I don't personally drink alcohol but one of my friends offered it to me is as an exchange uh, when I was did some Reiki for her. Uh, in the middle we have just stuff that I use semi-regularly. So we have a depiction of the horned god, we have Gaia, uh, the kitsune, which I'm sure you've noticed is in like all of my branding. Uh, we have a dragon. Uh, back there is a wood block that I inherited from my father. Um, I forget which tree it came from. It came from one of my great-grandfather's properties, but I don't remember which one. I'll have to look it up. And then up here we have our light side of things, our, our life things. So we have unicorns. Um, this is also where we ended up with several of the Norse uh, deities that I occasionally interact with. So we have Thor, Heimdall, and Baldur up there. We've got a Tree of Life depiction. We've got some uh, studying dragons and unicorns. And one of the oldest quotes, kind of kitschy things that I've had for years, which says, faith is when you close your eyes and open your heart. So that's a quick rundown. I'm still going to be putting more stuff up along the top, mostly mineral samples, I think. Maybe some other stuff I haven't decided yet. As I said, it's still a work in progress. But to round this off, as you probably saw in the title and or description, I recently, I recently purchased a game called Let's Get Deep. Because I've seen it kind of float around my Instagram feed for a while. And I thought, huh. That could be a fun way to share about things in a more organic fashion because 
it's hard to know what to share when it's your own life if people aren't directly asking you questions yet. So I have the icebreaker cards from Let's Get Deep, and yeah, I think we'll answer three of them as just a let's get reacquainted as, as the channel keeps changing and upgrading. Let's see, number one. <laughs> Do you know anyone who has been part of a pyramid scheme? More than I care to admit. So, I was raised Mormon. I went to BYU-Idaho. And if you know much about Idaho and Utah, MLMs are everywhere. And almost every mom is trying to work from home as an MLM distributor, marketer. I don't know what to call them anymore. So yes, I have known a lot of people who have been part of pyramid schemes and they just, even as a freshman college student, I was trying to, to tell them, don't do this. You're, you're just going to waste a ton of time and money. Almost no one actually makes money off of these things. There are a handful of fringe cases who do, but it's because they're incredibly lucky, more so than anything else. So, yes, I know people who have been part of pyramid schemes. Uh, number two, what is your ideal room temperature? Okay, that, that's hard because I have a very erratic sense of temperature. During the summer, I try to keep it at around 75, between 75 and 80, because if it gets too hot outside, you, you don't want to have your air conditioning so much lower than the outside temperature that it's just burning your, your fuel all the time, your electricity all the time. During the winter, I try to keep it at about 65 inside because you can always put more clothes on. So yeah, I guess those are my ideal temperatures. And for number three, what was the last show you binge watched? Okay, do you wanna know what I completed or what I'm currently binging? Because what I last completed was that time I got reincarnated as a slime. It's an anime which I have really enjoyed. What I am currently binging is Fringe, which yes, I know I'm late to the party. It's been out for over a decade, I think. But I am currently in season three and am really enjoying it. So there are the three getting to know you questions. I think I'm going to make a series of shorts using these cards as just a getting to know you type things. It seems like something that would be, it seems like a fun thing to do for shorts. So yeah, as a reminder, I do have a buy me a coffee page now. So if you are interested in supporting me in any way and have the spare cash to do so, feel free. And as always, until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.